today guys we are in the citadel in cairo where is the most iconic monument we went through a security check now we're gonna buy the ticket i'm gonna tell you how much it is how are you feeling marco fine thanks it's a warm day today it's very, a... very good to visit temperature let's have fun so we just bought the tickets it's 180 egyptian pounds for foreigners 40 if you're egyptian one important thing bring some small notes for with you you will understand later why just keep them in another pocket oh wow i have to leave the bag here with the stand and the microphone for some reason i can't bring the microphone don't ask me why so they got these small wardrobes they gave me number four fair enough there were actually two ancient Cairo. One was called Fustat. That was the first city. And then there was Al Qahira, which was actually an extension for royals and aristocrats, military. So it was like, it was like a posh area to live in. And it does remind the mosque that you see in Istanbul. The style is really Ottoman. Hi. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. All good? Very good. Bye. Photo? Photo? You want a photo? Okay. No problem. You speak English? This will happen if you come to Egypt sometimes, especially kids that come from the countryside, they never see foreigners, so they want to take pictures with you. So how do you feel uh, about people wanting to take pictures yeah, with you? Yeah, it's not expectable. I didn't know that there is this requirement for make picture with you. <laughs> Come on, man, let's go inside. Wow. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. You have to get in from the other door. Fair enough. So this is the entrance, basically. You have to take off your shoes, and if you want to buy cover for your feet, you have to pay five Egyptian pounds. This is so big and massive, I don't even know how to start filming it. Oh, by the way, you can leave the shoes here. I mean, it's incredible, dude. I'm really speechless. What do you think, Marco? It's very high, very detailed, very nice. And the colors, man, incredible, really. What did you notice, Marco? I think this place is the chair of the Imam, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Of course, if you love photography, make sure to come early morning, because it's getting quite busy. I didn't expect it because, you know, for the last two years, there, was no, there were no tourists around, but now tourism is back in Egypt. I want to show Marco. Here you can get an incredible view all over Cairo. This is one of the most impressive uh, area of the citadel hello. and hello. that hello. hello hello and that watch there is magic it's actually been given from france in exchange uh, to the obelisk that uh, now is at place de la concorde so it was a kind of deal different than the others yes it feels yeah. like you're staying in a in a medieval church in Assisi with all these bricks and stones like in, a in a castle yeah I think this place this arc is used to emit better the sound of the person telling the imam so when they were preaching the arcs and the dome on top will make it does a greater echo and reverb instead these carvings and the details of the mosaics are outstanding. Yeah. 
You remember before uh, I told you to bring some uh, small bills with you because some folks here will ask you for a tip. For example, the guy gave me the shoes and he told me right away, you have La Mancha, which is uh, a tip. And of course, we're gonna give him five Egyptian pounds. But if I didn't have with me five Egyptian pounds, it would be pretty embarrassing. So, I mean, if you wanna give them a hundred, go on with that. On the other side of Colón, you have the Polis National Museum. Beautiful view over the... It's Louis Philippe, I want to call it Louis Patek watch. And once more, this huge square and an incredible view over Cairo. That mosque of Sultan Hassan that you see over there is the same that you got on the 10 Egyptian pounds. I want to show you the old prison. And immediately the energy changed. Oh man. I thought there was a dude inside. They put like a mannequin. You see that? Really? And I think that was the toilet. Ah, there was a basket. You see the basket? They were probably using it like a toilet. Wow, no window. It must have been terrible, man, when there was no electricity. Can you imagine how dark it was? I think in the night you can hear voices here. And the prayer started as you said that. This wood, I think. I think this was uh, not a good place because the uh, cement absorbed the heat, so the prisoners also were like in an oven. Yeah, must have been very hot. And okay, there you see other prison cells. Even now there, there is the National Military Museum. If you're interested in modern warfare, there's probably an interesting area for you. Overall, I highly suggest all my clients to go to the Citadel. I can't think people coming to Cairo and don't visit it. And if you want to know more about the best hotel in Cairo, watch this video.